This is our editorial comment for tonight on the failed much publicized Constitution Amendment Bill Number no. 10 of 2019. It is on record that the Amendment Bill Number no. 10 of 2019 failed Ghana a two third majority vote in Parliament on Thursday last week, October 29th, 2020. In our editorial comment, we shall endeavor to lay a few facts without fear nor favor. Like we mentioned in our previous editorial comments, the bill had been rejected from inception by the majority Zambians. Theirs and our arguments too was pointing to the fact that the formation of the bill lacked inclusivity from critical voices, non-government organizations, and above all opposition MPs in parliament. At this point, it should have been wise for President Edgar Lungu to suspend the process but this went to the contrary. The process went on using the arrogance of numbers by the PF government. Still, at this point, government was not careful enough to notice the absence of MPs from the opposition. But rather, they went on debating amongst themselves and finally produced the results that went against themselves. For us, this was a source of concern because the PF government should realize that governance is and should be for the people. Again, we are saying good governance requires inclusiveness as opposed to the party in power. In other ways, we advise Republican President Edgar Lungu and his government avoid the tendency of arrogance that of numbers in parliament. In fact, we demand that government publishes the amount of money spent on Bill 10 from inception in order for the public to know. We say so because we are more than sure that the money spent on Bill 10 have gone on other developmental projects or even caution the collapsing economy. The PF government ought to know that making a country's constitution is not like writing own book or a novel, or rather is not a one-man show. We therefore condemn government, including all its allies, that went on rampage campaigning for Bill 10. We do admit the fact that the bill had a number of progressive clauses or proposals that would have helped cure some of the lacunas in the current constitution. I'll end our editorial comment by saying the constitution of the land is should be for the people and not those in power or a political party. In the other sense, we are saying the constitution of the country should not target opponents because politicians come and go. This is our editorial comment.